Hey everyone, how we doing? My name is Tim Pongrose and this is Focus on Detailing. Today's video is dedicated to one segment of a larger group of videos to be made, all about a collection of top quality car care products. So you could say Christmas has come early. I've been super lucky and received a massive collection of products by Jay Leno's Garage Australia. And if I was going to trust anyone with car care, it would be someone that has a massive collection of priceless vehicles, collectible cars, and knows exactly what it takes to look after them. Without being overwhelmed with information, just for this video, I'm going to be sticking to their dedicated interior car care products. I'm very particular with how I want the interior of my car to both look and smell and there's only one way to find out if they live up to those expectations and that's by testing them out. There's simply so much to review here as you can see from the pictures that I put up on my social media pages. You've got your correcting creams, your strip washes, your metal polishes, your odour eliminators, just to name a few. Not only do they supply car care chemicals but they also have a wide range of MF towers from glass cleaning to drying as well as apparel from hats to t-shirts and their buckets which are really great quality which have sealable lids as well as wheels. I'm excited about the wheels. Before getting into it I'll be testing each product and its recommended towel or cloth throughout the video on a few cars but leaving my opinion till the end. Now we can start. Today's car was extra filthy. Perfect opportunity to try out some of these interior products. The first thing I do before using any chemicals to detail an interior will be to remove the bulk mess that's throughout the car and give it a thorough vacuum. While doing this I'll be paying particular attention to any spots, stains or bad odours. I'm not here to talk about how to detail an interior, more so about the car care I have with me here to test. While vacuuming up I think I may have stumbled upon the kids pretzel stash. Amazing. <laughs> the customer's car today was in for a complete clean and shampooing, so it was an ideal time to try out a few of Jay Leno's products. It had milk spilt in it, so it was in need of deep cleaning and odour removal. Now first up with the interior products was Fabric Clean. I'll be using it along with my shampooing treatment. Not only is this used to dispose of tough stains, but it also removes odours. Perfect in this case. I sprayed it directly into the affected area, left it for up to a minute and then agitated it with a brush after which I then drew out along with the stain. This is mainly for spot stain removal but it's tough when almost the whole seat was stained. If you're ever unsure about spraying a chemical like this into the fabric of your car it's recommended that you try it on an inconspicuous area but it does state that it's safe for all fabric and carpet. I know people are going to say that it's cheating that I'm shampooing as well but I can guarantee that the fabric cleaner was helping immensely. I use a generic cleaning agent but it was the fabric cleaning adding the extra oomph to remove the stains. Don't believe me? Well I then tried it on the headliner, spraying it into their multi-purpose tower, dabbing it and giving it a light scrub to the affected area. Once the stain was taken out, I dabbed it dry. Up next, the interior detailer. This will hopefully help me clean the plastics and vinyl, tidying them up and if it does as it's telling me on the bottle, should restore luster to the surfaces. I started by a simple 50-50 so you could see exactly what it was doing. Not spraying it directly but applying it with a clean microfiber towel. This vinyl surface was prone to getting grime and dirt stuck to it so a good rub was needed. I then wiped the excess off with a separate towel and you can definitely see the difference. For those harder to reach spots I used my brush. This enabled me to get in and around everything. Again, not spraying directly, this will simply avoid overspray. I once again wipe the surface to a clean dry finish. This was done over the whole car, depending on how dirty if I use the brush or just the towel. Taking your time with this is essential to reach and clean every spot and to make a big difference. Now lastly for this car, odour eliminator. Pretty straightforward, once the car was completely clean on the inside, I sprayed the chemical over a few of the fabric surfaces several times, doing it evenly. If the smell was still lingering, I'd give it another hit. My usual go-to for this was nil odour. Very pungent and not the easiest to use as you apply it in drops, so this was making a big difference. I was trusting these products would work as it wasn't just me judging, it would now be the customer too. Yet another car in and another product to try. 
glass cleaner this time. Glass is one of those jobs that can be tricky to get right. Best way to achieve great results is with the combination of a top notch chemical and some nice clean glass cleaning cloths. I sprayed directly onto the glass making sure the surface wasn't too hot first. I then wiped the entire window down, then with a second cloth I buffed it clean. This was done to all the windows as well as the mirrors, good knowing that it's perfectly safe for tinted windows too. This job also received treatment from all the previous products I've gone over so far, so I could get a better idea of just how well all of them are working on the dirtier cars. Now the leather cleaner. I used my own car for this, straight away starting with some 50-50 work. I sprayed the work area then with a firm brush began agitating the cleaner over the leather. Once foamed up I wiped with a clean, fresh microfiber towel. I purposely used a white towel so you could see just how well the cleaner was doing its job of removing the grime from the leather. This is one of my preferred jobs as the results are quite noticeable if the cleaner is of quality. If some spots were hard to reach with a larger brush, I had my other clean brushes for leather cleaning around the steering wheel and the doors. Once I was satisfied that every bit of leather was thoroughly cleaned, I then jumped to the leather conditioner. Using an applicator from Jay Leno's garage, I applied it to where I was working, then went back over, gently rubbing it in. Have to think leather conditioning just like washing your hands. Not cleaning them can leave them dirty. Cleaning them alone can leave them dry. It's always good to clean, then moisturize or condition to get the best feeling or results. It's recommended after 10 minutes or so to wipe the condition seat with a clean microfiber towel to remove any excess. This job took time but it's always worthwhile. So that's it, time to give my thoughts going back to the start. Fabric Cleaner was a brilliant cleaner, able to draw out tough stains whether that was in conjunction with my shampooer or a towel alone with just using my hands. It brought the fabric back to how it should be, and the end result was not only clean but smelling fresh too, almost like a soft soap smell. Only issue I have with this is I liked it too much and wanted to keep using it on every bit of the seat, not just for the heavier spot cleaning. Interior Detailer I found that it wasn't really necessary to use two towels unless the surface was really dirty. One worked perfectly to clean the surface and wipe up the excess product at the same time. It made a very noticeable difference with the interior surfaces. It provided a safer and more effective way than just wiping with a cloth. It smelt really good and definitely brought life back into the interior. You may find that although an APC works great on interiors, it can leave things dry and unprotected. With something like this, it cleans as well as leaving a nice looking and feeling finish. The Odor Eliminator this product did an absolutely fantastic job of disposing of any lingering smells after shampooing. A little bit went a long way and the smell was also fresh and pleasant. You always want the customer getting into a car that both looks and smells great. This spray is definitely a must. Jay Leno's glass cleaner along with the tight diamond weave glass cloths were a match made in heaven. I dare say they're the best cloths I've used. Pretty simple process but sometimes getting great results can be a little tricky. This cleaner was amazing, avoiding streaks or any marks. It's also a safe ammonia free glass cleaner that is very highly rated on their site. Last but not least, the leather cleaner and conditioner. The cleaner left a very noticeable difference side by side. It was free of that tacky shiny look. It did a great job of foaming up and getting rid of that filth within the leather, as you can see on what was a clean white microfiber towel. I used this towel over Jay's range just so you could see on the white what was being brought out. I like to keep my leather pretty clean, but it was still bringing out a lot of gunk. Good knowing that this is a soft cleaner, safe for all leather surfaces, preserving durability and helping to bring it back to clean. The conditioner was the finishing touch. Obviously adding a wet product to the leather is going to make it look shiny, but once it had time to drink it up and later wipe the excess up, it ended up looking healthy again and felt soft without that slippery greasy feel that you often are left with with other conditioners. It smelt amazing. I sealed up my car and left the smell to linger overnight and the next day it was also looking amazing and still smelling fantastic. The towels that I used so far were just the multi-purpose ones but they were perfect for general use throughout the interior. As I already stated with the glass cloth, I found it perfect for the job. Remember, Jay is well known for his passion and collection of cars. He's not going to put his name on something that he wasn't proud and happy to distribute to the public. So far, so great with these products from what I've tested. So that's it for this video. This was just a general overview and test of the interior products. If you wish to find out any more information, feel free to check out the link to Jay Leno's Garage Australia in the description below. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to check out some of my other uploads and I'll catch you all later.